Welcome everyone, it's Vapor's Dragomar. We are taking on the clan boss. Um, as I might have previously mentioned. These are these are probably some of the best options we have, believe it or not. It only gets rougher from here. This game's like, oh you won that? Oh I'm gonna get your butt that's so hard, you never gonna want to play that. I guess that's literally how it goes. So that's what this game does if you start winning too much. That's generally what happens. Generally. Okay, can we win this? Maybe it's because if you win the speed race versus these teams, a little bit. Just a little bit. See? Because then it allows you to town. And most of the time, team comes like that, they can't stand the retaliation. Stand the retaliation. So where does that leave? We gotta do one more. We gotta do one more. Try it anyway. Especially that he went first. Yeah, we, we probably lost. I don't see unless their team comp is really weak defensively, which it may very well be. Um, we I don't see us winning. I don't see it. Which it may very well be. Because, note what it's made up of. Let's just try to see if we can face tank, because we may very well be able to face tank this. But I may be wrong about that, because it may be better geared than I expected. Okay, back to the obscenely overpowered people. Yes, sir. -y. This actually doesn't look excessively hard. Xavier, though, might be a challenge. I've never seen a Xavier that's a pushover. Never seen a Xavier that's a Alright, 
was looking for. That's what I'm looking for. You may be asking to take this but why are you doing so much tagging arena? For the very principle of I don't want to miss any tokens. That's why. Because I've I've messed around enough with tokens. Okay, so this little man is uh something. He's going to be a problem. The little man. Little man's a buff stealer. Little man's a problem. But probably tell the little man. The little man's not a joke. People might think he's a joke. He's not exactly a joke. The rest of his party was a joke. Little men, the little men and little women, uh, they do some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and he's resistant. Very resistant. Killing him is going to be Wow. Let's uh, keep the anti heal on him if possible. Resisted this guy have. This is gonna take a while. Oh boy. The reason I'm trying to keep the anti heal on him is the last thing I need him doing while I'm trying to kill him is him regening all that health. Still gonna hurt, as you clearly see. Because these little men, they hurt. Like, people are like, nah, the little men, they don't hurt. I'm like, what, what, what are you smoking? The little men hurt. I, 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 I'm, I'm serious when I say little men hurt. thing okay so as I was saying previously um, we're gonna want to give her some more levels actually um, yeah we're gonna want her to continue her journey into level 50 plus place. Because we're gonna want we're gonna want a lot of shield. We're gonna want her to last. That's the point. And I don't think any of me any of you will disagree with me on this point. You don't want your Valerie dying. You do not want your Valerie dying early. Because her job is to not die. To give your, your your people shields and stuff. It's not even that hard to ascend, which is why it's why I did it. It's why I it's why I went the distance with her, you know, farming, trying to get her levels, etc. There's a reason I did it. It's because I'm trying 
to get her into shape for bigger content. This is what I mean. Over time, her shield grows with strength. It grows! Alright, so... We've got her to... A semi-okay position. We're going to try her on clan boss. Because this is a much more good position, I think. It's not the best possible position, but it's not the worst. See that accuracy? Help. Kale. Get his stuff off. And, uh, yeah, she's gonna be the buff extender. Notice why I included her. She extends the buffs. And she provides the shield. That's why, when I said before, okay, are you gonna use her for ultimate nightmare? I'm like, I have to get her to six star first. I have to get her to six star like I have an hour. Fully ascend her, get her to 60. Get her in a full set of evil gear. But this is the kind of stuff you gotta put on her in order to make this work. Because basically, you need a buff extender to survive at all times to put the, the buff to, to extend the buff. That's what you want. You want your buff extended as far as you can. Increase defense on with the poisons. Because I'm trying to make up for the fact that my account is noticeably lagging behind other accounts. Noticeably. The other account I have is lagging. So I'm trying to make up for that lag. It's hard to do though. Because although there are technically four sixes in this match, the reason that I even bother to include Ninja is because Ninja does a lot of damage. He may be stupid squishy, but in his time of survival, he's going to be massive damage. To call him. The only way that he can continue to ascend right now is I have to save food for him. But I don't know if I want to save food for him or Gallic. The problem with Gallic is he just isn't... I guess I could. But then there's the other creeping factor. You may not even realize this. The other creeping factor is... I do have to do um, N a uh, Minotaur as well because uh, Minotaur. But I, I have to do Minotaur because there's a lot of champions on my teams that do masteries. Without masteries, their power is significantly reduced. That's the problem. Yeah. You notice, notice how much that shield protects for now? That's why I did that. Because I'm trying to make it so that my team can survive a really long time. Because he's she's gotta take the substitute of Taragi, the frog. 
Which, it's a big job. But I'm sure she could do it once she reaches the six. I'm sure. See, because I can't, I can't have any of these people getting hit. This is the thing. Later in this fight, I don't really care about Ninja forever. I don't. But, later in this fight, there is a problem. If some of these people get hit later in this fight, Ninja won't be the only one that dies. They will all die. And so that's why I have to have someone who's a dedicated, a dedicated defender. At least two dedicated defenders, not one. One dedicated defender is not enough. For your boss. You need at least two dedicated defenders. Doesn't matter what rank they are. I mean, I mean it doesn't matter what if they're a rare or or above. They, they have to be if a rare or above, you're gonna call them. You want you want two defenders. You want two major defenders of some kind. Or, or even a reviver like Ar Ar Arbiter. Which uh, Arbiter, incidentally, might actually be better in this fight than me. In some ways. Because Arbiter provides, unless you have a really good defensive team, Arbiter provides a lot of uh, utility. She, she prevents, she reses people, she boosts the turn meter, she heals. For a lot. So yeah, if I put an Arbiter in here, that would be probably a better setup. And then have her extend the buffs. At least that would be the plan. I can't guarantee that all my plans work, because a lot of them don't. But, if you can get the plan to work, that's great. More like a pain keeper would be even more practical. They, this extra level here is what's helping me. Survive. If it's around this time, yeah. You don't want her dying before your other champs. You want her surviving at least as long as my Virgus. My Virgus isn't even in his most defensive gear. And also, I'm going to want to get to the point where I can just equip uh, Virgus with the... Uh, what do I want to equip Virgus with? Uh, Guardian Gear. Yes, that's it. So that you can absorb the slam. Because that's generally where you want to go with that. Generally. See, I'm not on par. I'm about 2 million short, which is pretty bad, but again, this account has a problem with its cap. But despite all of this accounts and the other accounts' problems, we still got the triple star. And that's pretty good going. Um, we're gonna want to do some Minotaur. We're gonna want to do some Minotaur. Because, again, I need these scrolls. We're going to want these scrolls. It doesn't mean that we're over with. Don't don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to be upgrading Valerie because I am. It just means that we're going to conclude this particular episode before I have to continue to infernally grind for her upgrades. Yes, I have to grind her upgrades. 
repeatedly. I think another big problem is we don't have someone like Rexbar yet, which is why I'm like, this is why I'm repeatedly working towards Drexstar. Like, Drexstar and Arbiter would be massive for that boss, but then I have to level him. That's the problem. I also have to gear them. I have to gear them, I have to level them, I have to get the masteries eventually. It's a long process. Playing this game, getting good at it, is really hard. Let's just go straight to the art mission. Let's stop beating about the bush. This does not mean I'm not gonna go grind Kale up grind his scrolls up. Because I am. I do want to try it when I get Valerie up to power. I still have to do these dungeons later, because I have to try to get out of that. That might be okay. Still don't have the one I want. Still don't have the one. I'm thinking Dragon 13 might be the best one, and then we just put Valor in there. Because having that defense is probably better. We'll see. Because defense is an underrated stat. People don't understand its value, but it's a big, not just defense, HP. Defense, HP, shields, it's underrated. People don't understand how big of a deal it is to have that on your party. You don't understand it until your party gets wrecked on. Let's just get to Dragon 13 and see if we can get one. Let's go, let's start in with this one. Let's see here. Getting this burn on this dragon is pretty good. Dragon is maybe his best boss, honestly. 
dragon is probably the best guy. about this game and it not giving me the artifact yeah this game just hates me on giving me a five star artifact because I actually have to get the five star artifact in order to that's the that's the bitter truth here I actually have to get the five star We can make a full team of 60s for this. And I might do it for the uh, more powerful dragon. Because we're going to need... Well, I have a 6 star, but he's not 60 yet. A 6 star... I do right is I put the six star Valerie, the six star High Katoon, the six star Warmer. We have like a team. The reason I'm trying to go higher and higher in Dragon's Lair is I'm trying to get to the point where the dragon just coughs up the old That's what I'm trying. Trying to get the, the dragon to just puke it up. But yeah, Ninja easily dragons his best boss. I don't know. He's, he's very talented at dragons. I don't know why. He's very good at it. All the bosses, I'd say Dragon is, is the best boss. I'll try one more time. Oh, this game's RNG hates me. It hates me so much. See, the thing is, you wouldn't think that Ninja of this level would be able to survive Dragon, what, 13? But he can. That's the crazy part. He can. So yeah, Ninja's a Dragon God. Yeah, I'm not even joking. He, he, he is great for Dragon's Lair. His, his, his biggest weakness in Dragon's Lair is that he's squishy. That's it. Like, damage-wise, he's perfect for the Dragon's Lair. Perfect. Like, god tier, actually. In terms of damage. The, the problem isn't damage to Dragon, it's do you have the defenses to keep him alive? That's the question. You have the defenses, he suddenly turns into a god. If you have a man eater, it's GG. If you have a man eater with ninja, it's GG. Just, just, thank you for playing. Like, that's literally how it is if you have a man eater and you combine it with ninja, because it, it kills his biggest weakness. It's like, yep, GG. GG, well played. 
you, if you manage to get a man eater somehow, someday, for any reason whatsoever, if you manage to get a man eater, just a game. Just, just, it's over. You can beat any content. Ninja with man eater would be impossible. Anything that can keep him alive. If you can keep him alive, he'll kill almost everything. The, the trouble, the trouble is keeping him alive. It's literally the problem. That's the problem. Quite literally, can you keep the sucker alive? It's not like I'm not trying, but it's gonna be a long time. This is going to be really, really hard. I promise you. 